Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we'll talk about the spark that would ultimately be responsible for the death of millions and the destruction of entire countries. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary. Franz Ferdinand was Archduke and heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Married to the love of his life, Sofia Chotek von Chotvaka, they both had three children. As heir to the empire, he was rather unpopular with those in power. In the early summer of 1914, Franz visited the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sarajevo, to inspect the local troops there. The inspection was planned for June 28, 1914, and he would take his wife with him during the visit. They would arrive at the train station and be taken by car to City Hall to have lunch and then to begin their inspection. During this time, a Serbian terrorist group called the Black Hand was resisting the occupation of Austria-Hungary and found this to be a prime opportunity to strike. They planned to assassinate the Archduke during the visit. To do this, seven men had been trained in the use of firearms and bombs. These men were stationed along the route of the Archduke's car that would take him from the train station to City Hall. The Archduke had some luck in the beginning. On his way to City Hall from the station, the motorcade passed the first two assassins who failed to act. In response, the Black Hand placed Nadelchko Kabrinovic on the opposite end of the street near the Miljaka River, arming him with a bomb. Around 10.10 a.m., as Ferdinand's car approached, Kabrinovic threw his bomb, bouncing it off the convertible cover that folded back and into the street. The bomb didn't detonate until it had rolled under the car behind the Archduke, injuring almost two dozen people. Realizing he had nowhere to run, Kabrinovic swallowed a cyanide pill and jumped into the Miljaka River, but found his luck had run out. The cyanide pill did not work, only causing him to vomit, and the river was only about five inches deep as it was a hot summer. Kabrinovic was hauled out of the river and beaten severely before the police secured him. Meanwhile, the Archduke checked on his injured men and sent them to the hospital. The Archduke arrived at the town hall for his scheduled reception and lunch. During the meeting, Franz was visibly shaken and had to give his speech, still using the paper his speech was written on that was wet from blood of his injured assistant. The Archduke and his wife gave up their afternoon relaxation before the inspection and instead decided to visit the hospital and the injured men. Unfortunately, the experienced driver had gone to the hospital to look over the injured staff, leaving a new driver to take the Archduke back to the hospital. Gavrila Princip, another member of the Black Hand, was standing near Moritz Schiller's cafe when he spotted the Archduke's car as it drove past. The car had taken a wrong turn, and after realizing a mistake, the driver had put his foot on the brake and began to put it in reverse. In doing so, the engine of the car stalled and the gears locked, giving Princip his opportunity. Princip stepped forward, drew his pistol, an FN model 1910, and at the distance of about five feet, fired twice into the car. At first hitting Franz Ferdinand in the neck, and then hitting his pregnant wife Sophia in the abdomen as she tried to cover the Archduke's body to protect him. They both died before 11 a.m. Princip was immediately arrested. At his sentencing, Princip stated that his intention had been to kill Governor Podiarek, who was traveling with the Archduke rather than Sophie. Sophie was dead on arrival to governor's residence. Franz Ferdinand died 10 minutes later. The resulting aftermath of this incident would plunge the world into the First World War. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition.